I'm going to read to you from Francesca Leah Block's Lucy Bat. That night they linguini and clam sauce that my secret agent lover man made, and they drank wine and lit the candles. Lucy looked around at everyone. She saw Dirk, tired, unshaven, his hair a mess. He hardly ever looked like this, but his eyes shone wet with love. Duck looked older. There were lines in his face she hadn't remembered seeing before. They leaned against Dirk like a little boy. Lucy looked at my secret agent lover man, finishing his linguini, sucking it up with his pouty lips. Cherokee was pulling on his sleeve, and he leaned over and kissed her, and then put her on his lap to help him finish the last pite of, plate, bite of pasta. Which baby sat alone, mysterious and beautiful? Lucy's heart fell so full of love, so full as if it could hardly fit in her chest. She knew they were all afraid, but love and disease were both like electricity, Lucy thought. They were always there. You couldn't see or smell or hear, touch or taste them. But you knew they were there, like a current in the air. We can choose, Weezy thought. We can choose to plug into that love current instead. And she looked around the table at Dirk and Duck and my secret agent lover man and Cherokee and Witch Baby. All of them lit up and golden like a wreath of lights. I don't know about happily ever after, but I know about happily, Weezy Bat thought.